name is Bailey. I have been a travel nurse since 2016. I currently work in the emergency room and from Dallas, Texas on assignment in California with uh, awesome recruiter, Brad McDonald. I met Brad on the infamous Mexico trip that I'm sure Alice has heard all about. <laughs> so the Mexico trip kind of was uh, a couple of us met at TravelCon one year, had a great time with it. And I was like, I don't want to go another year without seeing you guys. Like that's kind of what always happens. And somehow it turned into six people turned into 30, where it was like somebody knew somebody and we all just kind of spontaneously end up in Mexico. I literally met Brad in customs. I have loved what I've learned from travel nursing, just about one, medicine is different everywhere you go. But two, just the, you learn a lot about yourself. You learn to be comfortable alone. You learn just being exposed to different diversities. Being from Texas, you know, you have certain mindsets. And then when I started Massachusetts or Chicago, you're kind of taught different ways of being around different people that you never would have thought. So it's been kind of fun, like learning about yourself. What do you believe in? What do you feel? And so it's just fun to make lifelong friends than an unconventional way. The biggest con I would say is sometimes being isolated. I was a nurse during COVID and in the ER, you know, constantly being exposed. So people did not want to hang out with you. And especially during the COVID, it was a lot of staff retaliation of you know, travel pay or this and that, and not being there to watch nieces and nephews baseball games every weekend or recitals. It's got to pre-plan being at things. And it's not as kind of fun watching them away from home, but it's not the same as getting to love on them. He keeps the friendship first along with the business. So it's very real. I can have a conversation with him. Um, I don't feel like I'm just a number to him. He's great about personalizing things, really understanding when we kind of presented to him when he was a new recruiter, hey, three of us want to go together on the same assignment. Can you make it work? And if he had had hair, he probably would have lost all of it trying to find the assignment. But he made it work and we're very thankful for that. He's constantly checking in on us, making sure we have what we need, we're doing okay, the assignment's going well, so. You are a guest in the house is the biggest thing. Um, when I started off as staff, I was very, very comfortable being a staff nurse and loved it. So I had to learn to assimilate very well on assignments. And just remember, you're a guest there. You're, their policies are their policies. Do what you can. Um, and then just learning where things are. And the ER, things can go from zero to 100 real quick. And if you don't know where this one supply is, sometimes it makes it a little bit more difficult because staff didn't tell you or you don't know this code to get in the store that you need to get, do right now. I would definitely say don't just follow the big contractor, big company, find somebody that will take care of you, will answer all the questions, especially as a first time nurse, there are so many bait and switches or things you don't know. You don't know what you don't know until you don't know if that makes sense. Um, so finding a recruiter that's going to sit down and explain how it works, how insurance works, how the policy, how pay breakdowns are. Um, also just finding just coming in and being yourself for the bat. Don't, I personally don't believe in coming in really shy. I'm a very, I joke, I can make friends with a brick wall. So I come in like, hi, this is me. You either like me or you don't. I'm here for 13 weeks. Let's make adventures. And kind of starting off, can you just go and be yourself? You are a new person there. You don't have to pretend to be anything you don't want to be. You get to be yourself for once. You're not at home. You don't have the small town things. So. Um, it has been fun seeing, um, like I said, getting to talk to Brad more, not just like we have more reasons other than just like, hey, what's our next trip coming up? We can just be like, hey, let's talk about work or what's the next plan or just how things are going. Um, seeing him from the friendship side, getting into the recruiter role from being a previous nurse. Alice has been super fun. All the events they always do, um, always have things going on at TravelCon. It's definitely made to feel like family when you jump in because everyone's kind of very welcoming and wanting to do things several times. So that's been fun. And then the adventures, they just help support you going on or all the swag you get. So yeah. Dream location would be to stay with my roommates. That would be the biggest thing. Um, it's definitely been good for mental health and just for fun traveling with the two roommates and the dogs. 
it's definitely nowhere super hot. You know, I love Phoenix and it might in the summer. You find things to do. But just somewhere to be outdoors, have some fun, catch some baseball games. So hopefully somewhere around there. Because that's what, to me, summer is being at the ballpark. But uh, just anywhere. You can make an adventure anywhere you go. So that's just what I want to look forward to. Dream location would be somewhere near a beach. I'm definitely more of a beach than a mountains girl. But that being said, my parents live in Utah, so wouldn't it be bad to be up there and hang out for a summer or winter up there, be near them 